Hello everybody, today I'm going to be decluttering my tank tops. And these are just tank tops that I've folded and like um, put into a drawer. And some of them were my closet organizer. I'm actually here on the floor with you guys. So this is kind of a cool new angle to uh, go through this stuff with. I've also got a bunch of like tank tops, actually, yeah, a bunch of tank tops hanging up in my closet but that's going to be a separate video because I know it's already going to be probably long enough to just go through these tank tops that are in this drawer here. Um, I don't know what to expect from here honestly. I don't know what to expect from going through this drawer. Um, okay so I've also got this little stack of tank tops here that I pulled out from my closet organizer like you know those things with the that you hang and then it's got the little cubbies in it where you put the clothes in? Sorry if my hair goes crazy, I cannot control it. If it's bugging you, it's probably bugging me too. So, the first tank top is this, um, you know, what's this material, like chiffon? I want to say chiffon, but I'm not too sure. It's that like sheer material that so many clothes are made out of these days. My mom bought this for herself and then gave it to me because it doesn't fit her, but it's like way too big on me. Honestly, I could probably wear it as a dress. Um, I, I had some ideas for it, but now I actually don't know if I want to keep it. So I'm going to set that to the side and think about it. I also have a bag here um, in case there is anything that I'm getting rid of. I know for the most part, most of the clothes that I had um, in my organizer, I'm not going to get rid of because I wear them frequently. But I'll just kind of hold them up for you. We've got this tank top that I thrifted. I'm going to keep that. I like it. Um, this tank top I bought from Aeropostale. It's just like a solid gray. And then the back has this little detail. Cut out detail in the back. I like it. It's very comfortable and nice to wear. This is actually also from Aeropostale. Like surprisingly. I always say check in every store. Like no matter what your style is. Because you never know what you can find. This is like a cami from Aeropostale. I just wear it as a tank top, but it's got like um, the moon and stars on it. It's kind of like celestial, and I love it. This is actually from Kmart, and again, this is like another one of my go-to tank tops. It's just got the symbols, symbols of the zodiac on it, and it's like um, super soft as well. This tank top is newer. It's... Um, I thrifted it. I don't know. If, did I do a haul on this? I might have. It's from American Eagle. And it's just got a sun, moon, stars. Then it says life on the bottom one. Does it? No, it says time. Sun, moon, stars, and time. So that's green. It's like one of the only colors that I own. Again, I thrifted this. It was in a thrift haul. It's from Express. It's got like this giant snow leopard guy on it. Keeping that. Like it. And again, this was in my Iron Fist haul. I absolutely love this tank top. It's the Pet Cemetery tank top. Yeah, it's got a cat with crosses in the eyes. Love that tank top. This tank top, this isn't even a tank top actually. I don't know why it's mixed in with here, but I guess we'll go through it. This is from Tokyo Darling, which is Aeropostale. Look at this thing. This is a size extra small. I guess it's supposed to be super baggy, which it is freaking super baggy. Um... I'm going to honestly try this guy on and see if I want it. So that's going to go in my maybe pile. This is another one of my favorite tank tops. It's from Kmart, like the Zodiac one. And it's just got a moon on it with like bars in the moon. And the front of it is like this grayish color. And it's kind of got specks on it to look like stars. And the back is just pitch black. Um, I'm keeping this though, like I said. It's one of my favorite tank tops. This guy... I bought from Forever 21. I thought it was super comfortable when I bought it, but it's like, I'm not into crop tops. Um, I want to try this on and see if I still like it. I want to try it with some of my shorts. And this, I love. It was in a thrift haul. It's um, also from Forever 21 and just a shark attack with a giant shark on it. I'm keeping that. Okay, now that we're done with all those tank tops, those are like my frequently worn tank tops. That's why they're in my organizer. We've got this drawer down here, and as you can see, it doesn't pull out all the way because it runs into um, the closet, so 
these are where I put things that I don't wear as much because it's kind of harder to get to. And this is why I need to declutter, I feel like, because I just have clothes like everywhere. Clothes are coming out of every inch of my closet, of my dresser. And even though I keep thrifting and I keep buying new clothes, I just also want to have a wardrobe that I'm proud of and that, like, is me, you know? So, I guess we'll just go pile by pile. And not all of this stuff in it is in here is tank tops, but I'm kind of um, grouping it together because why would I just go through like half of the drawer and not the rest? So this is a romper. This is my only romper. It's from O'Neal. Um, it's strapless. It's got kind of this like crazy pattern on it that's very reminiscent of like the 80s. Uh, and then the back is kind of like cinched in in the back. Um, yeah, and I like it because it also has pockets in it. This is my only romper, and I do like it. I'm going to keep it. I don't think I really wore it at all this summer, though, but it's my only romper, and I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's strapless. Like, me and strapless don't agree. We just don't. And then these are the three t-shirts that I got from Akibento when I was subscribed to it. So here's this shirt, which... I think it's kind of stupid, um, I don't know. I hold on to them just because it's like, hey, those are memories, but I don't really like it. This one I like because I actually, ugh, sorry, this one I like because I, actu I actually like Hatsune Miku and then Love Live, so um, this one I would keep, obviously, because I actually like that one. And this one was from Unity, like the sports theme with sports anime characters on it. Um, I could honestly do without these two, like the two black ones, and just keep the blue ones, but uh, I might keep them all. I also have this bin full of like graphic shirts, so when we go through that, I'll see how much I have in total and kind of weed it down from there. Okay, the next stack. This tank top I actually like. I'm going to keep it. It's from Victoria's Secret Pink. It's, um, yeah, I was just making sure it was pink. I think pink... Like, the normal Victoria's Secret only sells lingerie. Pink sells, um, clothing as well. So, it's just a stripey black and white tank top. And then the pocket has little stars on it. And it's like one of those deep, low, muscle, T-cut tank tops. Uh, I just went around that really weird. But I'm gonna keep it. This I bought from Marshalls, I think. It's by the brand Angie. I'm going to try this on because, again, like I said, um, crop tops don't really mesh with me. I really do like this, though. I just like the kind of somber-looking tie-dye effect. But I'm going to put that in my maybe pile and try it on. This I like when I want to be a little bit more girly. Um, this is also from Pink. It's this kind of cute tank top with palm trees on it. It's like a baby blue, and it's kind of got an ombre effect going on, so it darts out. A little bit lighter towards the top and gets a little bit darker on the bottom um it's very soft as well I like it a lot this one's fun it's cool it's also by pink it's the same style as the stripey one except this is like um, bubble gummy colors I would say it's like blue and pink and black and I just think this is fun when you want to wear like a pop of color boom bam I've been holding on to this but I've honestly never worn it um, it's a Harley Davidson, like, halter top, crappy top sort of a thing. And you would probably want to go braless with this. I kind of don't like going braless. Um, and yeah, I've never worn it. I don't know if this was, like, if this is legitimate or if somebody just made that, made this. I actually think it's a legit piece of clothing because it has a tag on it. But I think I'm going to let this go because I've never worn it. I always thought it would be really cool to get some use out of it, but I've got none, so that's going to go into my bye-bye pile. Next pile. Um, this is a tank top from Forever 21. It's like a hound's tooth print. I don't know if I would call this hound's tooth, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, and the back has this little open mesh detailing. I wore this for the first time this summer, can you believe it? And I've had it for like two years. And since I wore it that one time, it makes me want to keep it. So I'm going to keep it. 
This is a Pierce the Veil tank top. Uh, yeah, it just says Pierce the Veil with a dream catcher on it. I'm keeping it. I like that. This is a halter crop top that I bought thrifting. And like I said, I would not wear this out in public, but maybe just around the house when it's really fucking hot. So that's why I'm keeping that. This I actually have in a haul video. Um, I think it's called the Rue 21 haul. And it's like a blue shirt with... And it's supposed to be off the shoulder. But I'm pretty sure it's got a factory defect where these straps were not stitched on correctly. So it's kind of like crooked and oddly fitting and shaped. And then it's got like detailing in the front. So I want to try this on and see if I like it. If not, it's just going to go. And that will be $3 that I wasted. Like, bye bye money. Okay, this is from Charlotte Russe. It's a crop top with fringe all over it. It's like black and white and fun with a little dangly fringe. I like it. I'm going to keep it. This is a shirt from Kmart. It's actually a crop top. And I swear it was white when I bought it. I haven't worn it once, and now it's like off-white colored. But it's got a shark on it, and below it it just says Great White Shark. And then it's got its like scientific name below it. I'm going to try this on. I thought it was cool when I bought it, but now I don't know if I'm really digging it. So, yeah, I'm going to try that on. And this is another tank top from Pink. It's like funky colors and patterns and prints. And then the back is one of these racer backs. I actually really don't like racer back style tank tops anymore. They used to, like, be my jam, you know, um, when they were really popular and cool and you could find them in every single store. But now it's, like, not my thing. I'm going to try this on and see if I want to keep that, too. So my try-on pile is a bit big. <sighs> Next pile. These are all like camisoles, but I classify them as tank tops because I wouldn't wear them like under anything. This is a floral print one. I like it. It's kind of like a dark autumn kind of thing that I got from Kmart. I'm going to keep that. This one I love. Um, it's from Aeropostale. And it's got foxes all over it. Like, oh my gosh. Look at how cute that is. Um, foxes are one of my favorite animals, so I'm keeping that for sure. This one's also from Kmart. It's like blue leopard print. I literally think I bought these for like a dollar. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is mint green. From Charlotte Russe. With a little bit of lace along the top. I love mint green. But I don't know if I'm going to wear this. And, like, honestly, it's so see-through that I feel like any bra I wear would just poke its head through it. Like, I hate really thin see-through clothes. They're, like, the bane of my existence. Because no matter what, no matter what kind of bra you're wearing, shit's just poking through. You're seeing everything. So, I'm actually going to try this on. See if I want to keep it. Um, this one my mom got me from her work. And it's white and blue polka dots with um, a lace trim around it. And again, it's like so see-through and white and... Ugh. I'm going to try this one on as well to see if I want to keep it. These three are all the same. They're just different colors. My mom bought me them. They're kind of like this marble effect. Um, this one's pink. Do I look good in pink? No, I don't. So that one's pink, this one's blue, and this one's black. I'm going to keep the black one, for sure. Um, blue... I kind of want to get rid of, like, one of them, because it's, like... I kind of hate owning so much of the same one. Pink... I don't have my good shorts in here, do I? I want to kind of hold them up to my shorts, too see what color would look best. I actually think pink. Alright guys. I've just got a lot of these camis so I kind of want to let them go. I think I'm going to let go of the blue and I'm going to hold on to the pink one. Because even though I really don't look good in pink, um, pink and black look really good together. So I think I'm going to hold on to that one. We're getting down to the end, guys. Okay, this next thing. 
My mom bought this for me. She works at like a retail store, so she gets a lot of de deals, a lot of discounts, a lot of clearance sales. Um, I feel like she's never really accepted my style and like the fact that I like black and skulls and dark stuff, so she always buys me like just crazy stuff because it's cheap, as in these tank tops. And this is just one of the most craziest things of all. I'm pretty sure she said she paid like uh, 10 cents for it. And it says love, um, with frills and, yeah, it's like 4th of July spirit print. The tag is still on it because she bought it for me this year. Um, and she said, oh, you can, you, you can use it as a sleep shirt. Um, okay, mom, I'm probably gonna hold on to it and maybe I'll wear it, um, next year for the 4th of July. So, yeah. This is also something that she bought me. It's like a flowy pink top. I want to try this on to see how it fits because I just don't remember. This is another thing she got me. It's a tank top. It's green and it's got like embellishments all over it. I'm going to keep this um, because it matches a skirt that I have. And then that this is like the same exact style of tank top as that other one except this is black. I'm going to keep that. This is a tank top she bought me. Super cheap. I'm gonna let this go because God knows that I will never wear this. Don't think I've worn it at all yet. It's pink and ribbed, first of all. Remember when ribbed tank tops were like the thing? I really hate ribbed, ribbed um, tank tops now. And it's got lace around here and then lace on the bottom frills. That is just going to my to-go pile. And then this, again, like... I don't really like the style of tank top anymore. This is a ribbed purple tank top and it's got like lace detailing in the back. I haven't reached for it in god knows how long and I don't think I will reach for it because I've just got like better tank tops now. So it's actually by the brand So Isn't that funny? Um, I'm gonna let that one go. This is my last stack in this drawer and then I'll go through, try those things on, get the totals, and this video will be done. Okay guys, this is a little bit sad. This is a white Hello Kitty tank top. It's like a racerback tank top. One of those styles that I hate. It's Hello Kitty. It's like rainbow and fun and Hello Kitty. I like Hello Kitty, but I tried to wear this the other day and it just does not work for me. I bought it because I like Hello Kitty, like I said. And you know I like the rainbow represent, there's little Hello Kitty, but it's that weird material that clings to itself and it's like super sheer so you have to wear something underneath it and it just doesn't work for me so I'm actually going to let that go. This is that Hello Kitty shirt that I just recently hauled in a thrift haul. I'm going to hold on to this. This is a crop top from H&M. I actually like this even though I say I don't like crop tops. This is when I was buying crop tops. Now I vowed to like never buy another crop top because I really truly do hate them. But when I wear a crop top, I'll, I have like one pair of high waisted pants so I can wear those or I'll just wear a tank top underneath it. Um, I'm going to keep this just because I really like the print. I liked this when I bought it. I bought it from Kmart. Um, like a Kmart around me was going out of business so I bought this super cheap. And it's like really soft material, kind of like a microfiber, micro suede. Um, and I like I like um, turtlenecks, so I bought it because I like things around my neck, collars, and I like the color. I like this kind of army green, olivey green. But I didn't try it on when I bought it, and the fit of it is so terrible. Like it's just so baggy around the armpits and stuff that I'm actually just gonna let this one go. I know I don't even need to try that on. This Hello Kitty tank top I've had forever. Just says love Hello Kitty. It's super cute. I really like it. I'm keeping it. This is another crop top. This one's from Forever 21. And I'm going to keep this. It's um, black and white checkerboard. I like that. This is another crop top I believe. But I'm definitely going to keep this. It's from H&M again. And it's got Lucky Cats on it. This is just the cutest cutest crop top. Did I say tank top before? It's a crop top. 
It's cute. I'm keeping it. This is from Delia's. They're not even around anymore. And I've, like, kept this for so long because I'm like, I love it. I love the galaxy print on it. I'm so gonna wear it. I haven't worn it once since I bought it. It is pretty. It's striped. And in the stripes, it's, like, galaxy print. But like I said, I have not worn this once. I'm gonna try that on and see if I want to keep it. And then this is a tank top from Billabong. And it's just a black tank top with um, some detailing in the front like that. I'm going to keep this. I like it. So, so far, this is my key pile to go back in my organizer thing. Ooh, this is the key pile to go back into the drawer. I'm going to go through this little pile, try them on, get back with you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only got six things on my to-go pile right now. It'll probably get more, honestly, when I go through these things. So I'm going to quickly try them on. Quickly. And then I'll get back to you with the totals and um, tell you how it went. So be back in a flash. All right, guys. Here are my tank tops all gone through. This is my new drawer bin where I put all the tank tops in. And I've got the one romper in here. And um, I've actually got space back here is all empty space. And there's space to actually put more things on top of here. So yeah, I did clear up quite a bit out of here. These three t-shirts, I'm actually going to probably put away and store them somewhere. And as kind of like a memory thing. Because honestly, I'm probably not going to wear them. But I want to kind of like remember that I got them. So they're probably going to be like a memory thing. And this is the stack of tank tops that I'm getting rid of. So Shark's going, this pink one. This off-the-shoulder shirt that I think is defective. This one. This one. That little um, tie-dyed um, crappie top. This one. This minty one. And that Galaxy shirt that I loved so much when I bought it and never wore it is going. Along with that Harley Davidson. This blue one. Pink. Hello Kitty. Purple. That green one that doesn't fit quite right. And here's, um, these are my frequently worn tank tops. I keep them in there. So that's everything. Um, when I started this, I had 51 folded tank tops. And that's including, like, this and the romper and stuff. So I'm just putting them all together because it's, like, easier for me to remember in my head. I had 51. This stack, I'm getting rid of 15. So in total, I've got 36 left. So... That's including those over there and these in here. From 51 to 36, getting rid of 15, that's actually pretty good. Um, I think I'm doing really good at purging my clothes. I think I'm doing really, really good, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it all. And until next time, guys. Bye!